guys welcome back to my channel if you're new I'm Serene thank you so much for stopping by this is makeup bag Monday week number 58 every week I do makeup bag Mondays now on a Tuesday but what we do is I test out products for an entire week sometimes longer and I check back every week to let you know how these products perform in my everyday life with swatches in-depth reviews and inserts of demos of me applying the products it's a really great way for me to really give new products a good Good test and kind of update you guys on something maybe that I did a first impression on or I shared with you in new and beauty as well as rotate some of my old products into my everyday makeup routine so that I don't forget about them and maybe I still love them and maybe I don't love them anymore if you missed any of the previous makeup bag Mondays you can definitely check out any of the makeup bag Mondays on my channel over on the makeup bag Monday playlist on my main channel page I also want to hint that there is a surprise gift away in today's video so just keep on watching to find out what the prizes are and how to enter for that giveaway okay. so all the products from last week I'm gonna start with foundation the foundation I was testing out is the Lancome tint idol ultra wear I don't know where this foundation has been because I love it it comes in a pump it's a frosted glass I am in the shade 220 buff C and I have been wearing this with pride all week sometimes when I'm testing out foundations for an entire week for makeup bag Monday I get a little down because I don't want to wear foundation and or I just like don't like the feel of it on my skin after a while or I just want to give my skin a break this foundation is very buildable I like to sheer it out for every single day by using a beauty blender but if you want to have a little bit more of a full coverage you can definitely use a dense foundation brush I recommend the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I first used this to apply my foundation when I was testing this out, but then I found for every single day, I really preferred more of a sheer coverage, so I sheared it out with a damp beauty blender. It does this beautiful job at providing coverage, but not looking cakey or looking like I'm wearing a ton of foundation. It also has a really beautiful natural demi matte finish so it's not going to be ultra matte and it's not going to be ultra dewy it controls the oils around my t-zone but it doesn't accentuate the dryness on my jawline and my cheeks which I have very combination skin I also have very sensitive skin and nothing about this has irritated my sensitive skin even though I've been wearing it all week and I've had long days I have even taken a nap with this on which I don't recommend napping with your makeup but sometimes you know we gotta do what we gotta do great thing about this too is that it is ultra long wearing but I don't notice that I've had my foundation on all day because it doesn't look like it's been lived in and it doesn't look like it's wearing off it just does a beautiful job at wearing all day doing what I need it to do looking good looking fresh and making me look like the best version of myself which is always what I want my makeup to achieve I don't really know why it hasn't been talked about more because it is that good one of those things that I would rate it should be talked about as much as the Giorgio Armani luminous silk or the NARS sheer glow that everybody was obsessed with for a while I really think it should be up there in that category of just a ride or die good foundation that's been around for a while that people always go back to if you're looking for something that is anywhere between light to medium buildable to maybe a medium almost full but not going to give you that full matte look you'll really enjoy this I love how versatile it is I love how it wears it's very very good for someone who's looking for something that's versatile for every single day work life slash personal life slash mommy life some more Lancome products I was testing out are these custom strobing drops and I'm gonna insert me using these drops on my entire face so I have I'm just I'm so in love with these first of all they're not overly liquidy which I really appreciate they blend beautifully almost like a gel liquid but it's not going to be messing up your foundation underneath especially if you're using the Lancome foundation I was using all week so what I like to do is use the bronze glow as almost a bronzer slash contour slash cheek color with a stippling brush and then I'll blend it in with my expert face brush or you can use your fingers or you can use a damp beauty blender these are beautiful I also use this on my eyes and then I went in with the rose gold and this is a beautiful highlight cheek color it gives you just this glow from within it's not glittery it's not 
choppy. It's just the most, most beautiful refined glow that still gives you color. So I use this all over my lid as well on my eyes to give it this beautiful like iridescent highlighted eyelid and then I went in with the deeper shades to kind of contour my eyelids. I use Golden Glow to contour my eyelids a little bit. And what I love about Golden Glow is that if you're fairer than me, you could go with Golden Glow instead of Bronze Glow. But these are so wearable. You can sheer them out. You can build them up. You can use them with your foundation, without your foundation. You can mix it in with your foundation. You can use it on top, underneath. These are seriously so customizable. And I used the Champagne Glow on the inner corner of my eyes as well as my highlight today. They are just the most beautiful candlelit glow. It's not greasy. It settles really nicely. If you have drier skin, you don't have to set this, but I like to just kind of pat the oily areas of my face with a little bit of translucent powder to kind of lock it in just a little bit around my nose, around my cheeks right here, and I did set a little bit on my eyelids. Love, love, love the texture, the formulation, everything about these. I highly encourage you guys to check these out. Out of a lot of these drops, a lot of these custom mixed things, the formulation can either be a little bit too watery, a little too oily, it, it just like separates. Things happen with these, but this is the perfect blend of mixability as well as consistency like none of the glitter is separating from the liquid which makes it so much easier to work with and blend i just really love them they're very very luxurious very good quality i had a few products from l'oreal i was testing out so i have the infallible longwear eye pencils i love these they are a great drugstore dupe for the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners, and as well as I would say even the Marc Jacobs uh, gel eyeliners. They are very creamy, very long lasting, very pigmented. My favorite way to apply these pencils is to kind of just smudge it into my lash line and then use an angled brush and smooth it out and kind of create a light wing. I actually am noticing that I did something weird right here today. Mascara I was testing out is from L'Oreal. This is their Voluminous Superstar X Fiber. Now, if your lashes hold a curl really well or you naturally have a nice curl, I don't think you'll have a problem with this. It is very voluminous and it's definitely a fiber mascara. So you have the side one, which is gonna be your black primer, which I definitely appreciate so that there's no weird white tint. And then you're gonna have the side number two, which has a black fiber mascara. And I found that this did a really good job at creating thickness and volume in my lashes without looking too clumpy. But my issue was that while my curl stayed on the roots, it started to fall at the tips because it was getting weighed down by the fibers. So that's typically an issue though with me with fiber mascaras. And I did find when I was working out and if I still have the mascara on, some of the fibers would fall into my eyes. So my tip for that to solve it, which was really easy, is to go back in with the primer side and seal in the fibers. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but I wasn't doing that beginning of the week, but then I learned the hard way to seal those fibers in. Definitely recommend for volume and for a fiber mascara. It's one of the better ones out there, but it's not my favorite mascara. I definitely am like an old school favorite. I love the voluminous one, the carbon black one from L'Oreal. I think they just knocked it out of the park in those original ones. And all these newer ones, while they're not horrible, they're not my favorite either. The final product I was testing out for the week is the new Urban Decay Back Talk Palette exclusive to Sephora. I actually have a second one of these to give away. So I will be giving this this away as well as some brow products from the balm in this video stay tuned on how to enter based off of their really popular lipstick back talk I like that there's this really beautiful mauve blush that I was using right here in the shade double take and then you have some really pretty shimmers as well now the shimmers aren't my favorite but I think a lot of you guys might enjoy it it's just not something I personally wear as a highlight removable mirror that kind of sits in the center but you can also remove it and use it if you need close up. The eyeshadows are really beautiful. They're mauve pinks, which I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it at first, but then I started playing with it and I thought they were really, really pretty. Very natural, but different. And not something I typically would reach for, but something I definitely found a lot of use out of and enjoyed for the week. So I do feel like if you are drawn to these mauve or pink tones, or if you don't have that in your makeup collection, this is something you might enjoy. The formulation is very comparable to all of the other Urban Decay products out there. I don't have an issue with any of the formulation. I think it's just a matter of whether 
or not you're drawn to the shade range. So that is everything that I tested out for last week. Here is what I will be testing out for the upcoming week and I have a lot of new products to share with you. First thing are going to be these new brow products from The Balm and I also have a set to give away. This is called Furbrowicious. <laughs> Furbroicious brow pencil with spoolie and they come in blonde, light brown, and dark brown. I think I'm probably gonna be dark brown, but the winner's gonna win all three because they did give me an extra set. Laura Mercier came out with a new palette. This is their Bohemian Chic Eye Clay Palette and I am so drawn to these shadows. They're very neutral, very everyday kind of situation, but still gives you a little oomph, so I can't wait to play with these. I have two glosses from Urban Decay I'll be testing out. This is their Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss, and I'm actually wearing the shade Fuel today on my lips. They're very, very comfortable. I typically do not like glosses because I hate that sticky feeling, but these, so far, so good. It's just a matter of how they wear because glosses also do that weird like line thing on the inside of your lips. If you watch my recent New and Beauty for March, I was very interested in this Essence The Cushion Eyeliner. It literally looks like a cushion, so I can't wait to test that out. This is a new foundation from Makeup Forever, and this is the Ultra HD Perfector. It's a blurring skin tint with SPF. It is a chemical SPF, so for me personally, I'm gonna wear a physical one underneath. I have the shade 04, hopefully it's a decent match, but I had swatched this and I was like, oh my gosh, I love how beautiful and hydrating and just like a soft tint this is. I have an Essence Instant Volume Boost Mascara, which is supposed to be ready in 10 seconds. Some of these Lancome Ombre Hypnose Mini Chubby. This is for spring. They have a beautiful, adorable, gorgeous, fun, girly spring collection and these are the little mini chubbies for the eyes. Jen from Dior and Jelly Beans was actually a contributing editor in February's issue of By Serene, which is my digital magazine. And she did a whole spread on pastels on the eyes and lips and cheeks. And so I actually think these are gonna be perfect to play with and create some of those looks that she pulled for the pastel makeup trend for spring. If you guys haven't checked out my magazine, all the information is in the description box. It's a monthly subscription magazine. It's completely interactive. It's exclusive in-depth content. It's just more of what I do here, but really in-depth in an editorial format and it's also just all interactive so it's really fun and I get contributing editors like Jen from Dior and Jelly Beans. Check out her blog if you haven't already. She's amazing. Finally I have this from Lancome. This is their Macaron Blush and Blender. I saw this. If you guys follow me on Instagram and watch my stories it was the best thing I ever received in the mail. It was adorable. So you get these little macaroon looking cheek colors and it's like this it's such a unique texture. It it's like velvety, creamy, um, it's just so freaking unique. And then you have these little blenders that are shaped like macarons. So it's so cute. So that is everything I'm testing out for next week. I do have a little giveaway in this video as a thank you for watching and being a subscriber to my channel. So this is the Urban Decay Back Talk Eye and Face Palette. I had an extra one that came in the mail because I did go to the dinner and they gave me one there too. I'm going to give this away along with the extra set of the Balm Furrow Brow Ishes set. So you'll get one of each shade that they gave me as well. All you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Go over to my Instagram, follow me on Instagram, take a screenshot to prove that you're a subscriber here on YouTube. Send me a DM on Instagram to let me know that you are entering for Makeup Bag Monday's giveaway. I will have everything written in the description box as well. I collect all the DMs and I save them in an album and then I randomly just pick a winner um, in about a week and a half and then I DM the winner. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. Don't forget, I upload new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday here on this channel. If you like to get to know me and Chris a little bit more, you can check out our second channel, More Serene. And if you ever l want more content, um, check out the blog, check out the podcast. Everything's beauty related over on the blog and podcast and lifestyle related, really. 
check out my digital magazine by Serene. I'm working on April's issue. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. As always, I just hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best. At the end of the day, I just hope my videos helped you unwind, de-stress, take your mind off of whatever it was you needed help taking your mind off of. That's why I watch YouTube videos and that's why I continue to make videos for you guys. So until Thursday, I will see you guys right back here for another video. Bye!